What is going what is going on kingdom so today i am back on the movement of unity again today i am back i'm finally back on this series and i'm feeling good i'm about to speak out this word today and i'm about to really just i hope this blesses you today i hope this word just helps to really motivate you because i feel like this is something that in our i guess age in our society we need for each other we need to motivate and i guess to help each other grow to help bring each other prosperity growth development and i've actually had to record this message a couple of times to really get what i want to say out but today i'm feeling it and today i want to go into the bible for um for this video today so the verses that i'm going to be speaking of about or speaking from are um on this wrinkly piece of paper right here and um it is galatians chapter 6 verses 1 and 2 which they say brothers and sisters if someone is caught in a sin you who live by the spirit should restore that person gently but watch yourselves or you also may be tempted carry each other's burdens and in this way you will fulfill the law of christ now what these verses really heavily speak about is about um helping others helping others with the burdens that they carry being a part of those burdens that they are carrying help them to carry them because we have to work together as the body of christ and this is something that i feel like we miss out on a lot of us a lot of us in society nowadays in the age that we are living in, we miss out on um, these verses right here just in our lives. We're really taught, hey man, listen, you got to work on your own, uh, you got to work on your own purpose. You got to do, I do, I'm doing my own thing. I'm doing me, you know, you do you, I do me and I'm going to go and work towards, I'm going to get this money. I'm going to do, I'm just going to do myself, I'm not going to, you know, and I think that that is a problem. I think that that is a big problem that we are facing in this society today, most definitely. And what I want to um, say is, right, I want to give an example for this video today, and it's going to be working out. That's going to be one example as to many examples we could use as to, you know, something we may want to accomplish for the greater good, for the purpose that God has given us. You know what I'm saying? I want to start working out more. I want to start getting more physically fit. I want to start getting and Listen, I'm not in the best shape ever. I want to start getting into better shape, right? And one thing that is not a weak thing, it's not a bad thing, it's an actually important thing. It's something that we are supposed to understand, especially as the body of Christ, is that we should be working together. We shouldn't be fighting these things on our own. We shouldn't be fighting the spirit of laziness or the spirit of, you know, um, just, just whatever's trying to hold us back. Whether it's depression, sadness, um, anxiety, hurt, whatever it is that's stopping me from feeling open to working out. Again, discipline is also a thing. But we can help each other to accomplish discipline. And this is the example that I'm going to use for it, right? Say, I'm trying to work. I'm trying to get fit. I'm trying to start working out. And again, I've recorded this video already a couple of times trying to get it. But this time I got it, right? Because I feel it a little bit better. I had to speak and develop discipline with myself in the way that I'm speaking. The way that I'm saying things. Because I was repeating a lot of stuff. And I'm like, hey, man, it's time to really pull out. It's time to really pull out what God has given you. Let's do this. Let's push through this. Right? And that's what these push-ups are about to be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I could keep going, right? Now today I'm feeling motivated. Think about it like this. Today I'm feeling motivated. It's hot outside, man. It's difficult, but I'm motivated. I'm feeling it. I'm ready to push through and put in this work. But think about the next day. That paper scared me. But well, I'm a little scared. You know, I'm just not, uh, I don't know. I don't want to work out today. I don't feel up to it. I feel like I'm too weak for this. I feel like I'm too, you know, I can't. Just not today. And you know what? We look at people that have that mentality during a day or whenever they have that mentality. We look at people with that mentality and say they're weak for it. They're not working hard enough for the body of Christ. They're not doing enough, you know. They have, they need Jesus. They're not working hard enough. They're not putting enough. They're not reading their Bible enough. They're not praying enough. Now, listen, I just want to say that sometimes, and I, go, I know I've talked about this a lot on the movement of unity, but sometimes if we can help to be there for others in those situations, when they feel that way, whether I feel that way in the day or not, you know, or anybody else does, having somebody that can be there in that position with them, or maybe I just feel unmotivated, I don't feel like doing nothing, and maybe somebody could call me up in the morning, I could be asleep, 
and I'm like, I'm not going to work out. Somebody could call me and be like, hey, listen, get up. We're about to do this. I'm your gym. This is like your gym partner or something. Again, there's nothing wrong with having people that you do these kinds of things with together. You shouldn't be doing these things on your own, to be completely honest with you. And it wasn't really, I personally believe it wasn't 100% like that in the beginning. Like in the beginning of times, the way the society was, I feel like it was so different. Looking at, um, you know, just the different places as I read in the Bible and how everybody was labeled by these different places that they were in because everybody worked together in these different places, you know? like you can talk about the community of wherever the heck that I'm at but you know that's not what they're going to label me by is a person like it's, it's just it's it's different it feels like nowadays it feels like it's different and I wish that we all just found ways I can say I wish right but I want to push towards this is that we all can manage to work together to create something great and we all should yes we have our own purposes but we can all achieve greatness together by working together in our purposes, whether that's our own perspectives, whether that's our own talents, God gifts, anything, we can work together. You know, maybe one person is great at speaking and maybe another person is great at something else that could help build up a company. Or maybe one person is good at understanding chest workouts, I'm better at understanding ab workouts. And guess what? We can learn from each other's perspectives and I can get better at doing chest workouts and I can start working out for real. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's just, it's important for us, especially with discipline. We may, I, like, laziness is a spirit. Laziness is a spirit for real. I'll be laying down and I'm like, I don't want to do nothing. You know, laziness is a spirit. But the spirit of laziness can be counteracted when somebody else feels motivated. Maybe has that, maybe isn't feeling that spirit in that moment, isn't feeling that, isn't, isn't feeling that hindrance that the devil brings us. Then I can help to understand another perspective and, and that can really help for me to push through and fight through with the devil. That's how we box the devil. We fight the devil. We fight him. We fight the enemy. We got to fight the enemy, right? We got to fight him. But we can fight the enemy with the body. But you shouldn't be having to fight the enemy by yourself. We have to fight the enemy with the body. And guess what? God can help you do that. God can help you find others that will help you. Soldiers. You know what I'm saying? People, like, is there so much, there, there is so much of us saying, hey, this person isn't doing enough. This person isn't, but think about the circle that they're in. You know, a big part of it is sometimes we really just need to find the right group of people that really, really want the best for us because those are our family. Those are the people that have love for us at the end of the day are those that want the best for us. And we can work together to create great things, make great things happen, whether it's to achieve um, respecting the body that God has given us by working out and respecting and showing respect for it. Not to look great, not to look all these ways, but to respect the body God has given us by showing him, hey, I care about this body. I'm going to work hard to strengthen it and make it better so I can be a leader and I can respect the body you have given me. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I really wanted to say for this message. I don't think there's much else. I'm glad I finally got this one out there again. I am working on speaking better. I am working on it. I've already recorded this video and I feel like this time the spirit really came in and really helped me push through with this one. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes we just need for, I mean, even the encouragement from the Lord, of course, is very, very important. Sometimes though other people can bring that encouragement from the Lord through them by speaking to us and saying, hey, you know, man, you are better than this. You can make this happen. Come on, let's get up. We're going to make this happen. You know what I'm saying? You can be encouragement for somebody and you can also find a circle that will help you to encourage because guess what? We are the body of Christ and we are meant to work as a unit and this is the movement of unity. That is what I'm speaking on is the importance of moving in unison, moving as a unit, not moving by our dang selves because guess what? We can't do that. We already know we can't do that. We pray to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? We are servants of the Lord. We are servants of the fa of, of Father God. We are servants of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are servants. And as servants, we must work together to get better at being better servants and becoming better as individuals. And that's all I really got to say. I appreciate you. God bless you. I hope this message has blessed you today. You know, I'm very um, thankful to be able to have done this. And you all have an amazing day. Thank you and God bless you.